We are learning new details tonight about the man in a wheelchair. Investigators say shot a dad in broad daylight for no apparent reason while the victim and his daughter were leaving a midtown Houston gym. Joey Harper has an extensive criminal history and is charged with felon in possession of a weapon. Channel 2's Jacob Rascone is live at the 24-hour fitness on Elgin with the newest information on this. Jacob, good evening. Yeah, Christine, good evening. The shooting happened at the top level of the, of the parking garage behind me, right as the victim was placing his six-year-old daughter in the back seat of their car. The masked gunman got away in his wheelchair, but a witness followed him. This is 27-year-old Joey Harper, caught in a CVS parking lot, three blocks from the crime scene. And this is where police say Harper shot the victim, a man who just left 24 Fitness with his daughter. He placed her in the back seat when Harper rolled up behind him in his wheelchair, a mask and a pistol. It just makes my heart drop because especially when a father's like bringing his daughter inside a car. Shocking. I mean... You wouldn't expect that sort of thing to happen here. The victim tackled Harper after he'd been shot, knocking him out of his wheelchair. But Harper escaped down three floors and away three blocks. Police found him thanks to a witness who followed the gunman. He still had the mask and pistol. This is video you'll see only on two. Turns out Harper had been arrested before on charges of everything from stalking, robbery, assault of a public servant, and theft. That is just pretty crazy to have somebody do that on Father's Day, especially in a wheelchair. The victim, Nemia Solmedo, targeted on Father's Day, was transported to the hospital in critical condition. Family members of the victim tell me he was shot twice, once in the torso and once in the side. He was in surgery for eight hours on Sunday, and tonight he's in stable condition and tells his family he did not know his attacker. Live in Midtown, Jacob Brascone, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Thank you, Jacob.